I'm Nogal Evirapaport, I'm 19 years old, I'm a student in Warwick based in London and I'm a speaker, organiser, activist and school climate striker um, who's been working for the UK Student Climate Network as a volunteer and for youth strike climate uh, across the world um, for the last two years, organising the climate strikes as well as mobilising young people around youth empowerment, political education, educational reform and climate change mobilisation for a number of local and community projects. I think the most important thing to rally around within climate change is the deep inequalities that climate change will bring. Not only are we expecting obviously the devastation of the planet, but we're also waiting on impending environmental doom that will affect the security and stability of our futures, as well as causing mass inequity across the planet that is already fueling so much of climate change. It means that we have to urgently end the fossil fuel industry, we have to end this corporate elitism that we're seeing, otherwise we will face vulnerable people all over the world becoming ever more marginalised and insecure. The most important thing I'd say to young people would be to firstly recognise that as young people we have an energy and an excitement and a naivety that is a gift to us. It's a gift to our activism and to our mobilising. And it means that we can seize on that hope and on that emotion and on the fear that climate change brings us. We can turn that anger into action. We can turn that anger into saying, we're not going to ask for permission to make a change. We're going to go out there and change the world for ourselves. Intersectionality to me means recognising the different layers of oppression and marginalisation that vulnerable people in our society have to navigate through, whether that's through being a woman, through being a queer person, through being a person of colour in our society, we all face these different difficulties and structures of oppression that we have to navigate through for most of our lives, if not all of our lives. And within climate change activism, that also means recognising how those methods and systems of oppression are built into the fossil fuel industry and how different inequalities across different countries in the world impact our activism and impact the impact we can make. It means that we have to recognise whose voices we have to platform, we have to be the most vulnerable, the most marginalised, we have to uplift others who see the world from a different perspective, we have to bring that variety of perspectives to the table if we want to make real change.